Straight in with the defaults, utility set and ready. They can just throw these smokes out, smoke out the heaven control somewhere on the site, most likely. Got two players extremely close to deal with, Zipex and Glaive, holding close to the jewel. He's tapping away, but not quite getting that opening kill. Finally draws out two. Viz with a responsive, and Zipex is back up out towards short. He'll try and take point for now. Ben Lee's gonna fall, as will Viz, eventually leaving Cone alone, alone in the 1v4 to lose the pistol to Astralis. Still working in this connector control. It's only one player to isolate. They could throw two bodies at it. Config throwing himself at the continuous long aggression. Ponalone and Benley are here with the AKs to look forward to see those incendiaries coming down and get the one for one, a two for one trade. In fact, Config with a double and a three on three. They do win that connector control, but at what cost? Oh, it's a little bit sloppy, isn't it? Nades back to his position, not quite doing that much damage. At 34 HP, he's still the weakened element. He's going to charge forward into the fire, put up by the T side. Glaive now forced to fight, but still inaccurate. Still can't quite get those kill headshots. Takes the dink back as Config falls. John G wraps that corner. Gets the double up and now it's all left as FX1 versus three. He's got it down to a one versus one. In fact, up against DJ. Can't win that last fight though. EG get there first. Hey, you've got to give full credit in that round to Jonji. He made that possible. To uh, oh, not quite stick his gun barrel out actually. Corner check. It will be, but Blaine repositions and wins that fight. And knowing that that bomb's right back there from the connector position means that the default's really going to have to get brought apart. Bentley trying to jiggle down onto the angle out from Divider. Does spot out Farlick. What a duel from Jonji. Yeah, great bait and switch. Four on four for it. Bentley charges up with flash support as well. One player on the back of the site might become a bit of a concern. Config trying to fight the vision, but it's just going to be suppressed by utility. Back up towards Bank. Meanwhile, Blaine wins his fight against DJ and Zipex catches Ben off guard. So a four on two for Astralis. EG forced to rethink things and rotate back it's a con. No follow-up round for Evil Genius is a 3-1 for Astralis to kick things off. And not a lot of cash and spare for the T-side. Yeah, ben Lee's making a lot of noise as well. Trigger Discipline's going to be important and he needs a multi-frag. Only one pistol to give up the game and lose so much HP for that. Ben Lee got so much out of it, but still Pone alone. Falls Blame F looking for the triple. The Viz finally puts him down and John G can double up the same. Yeah, very well played there for EG, just putting a lot of dynamic players in and around the connector and party and just forcing the over rotates. Glaive now getting slightly aggressive towards long. Might hear these footsteps. Engagement from Zipex, however, it's an end to John G's life. Glaive chimes in as well. 2v2, now to a 1v1. DJ chimes in, grabs that bomb, and should charge right into the ace light. But Zipex is going to be one quicker here. 40 seconds. The smoke can go down to buy a bit of cover out to the default plan. I think he's at the edge of it, though. Zipex charges forward, catches the only angle he needs, and catches the fifth round for Astralis. Something against Evil Genius, this will be a prime opportunity for a player like him to chime back in. Well, John G, however, just leading the charge as he always does. Up close and personal against Glaive, who shuts down two, and everybody else seems to fall for the two side. DJ hangs in there for a little bit longer. That bomb should get picked up and maybe planted in the middle of the smoke. But that bomb plant may be the best that EG are going to get out of this round here. It's very open as well towards short. Nades in, shouldn't deal. Oh, that will deal with Ben Lee, most certainly. Fantastic shot for Blaine. Blind as a bat, and only one player will fall for Astralis. Have his control and have Viz to back him up here and connect to him. The Molotov up towards Topcom will try to drive Blame back, but Blame's going to re-aggress. Viz has taken an angle, since that gun barrel, but still loses the fight. Uh, Viz has had a tough time against Blame F. That 1v1 dueling connector seems to always go the way of the CTs. Jonji trying to catch a timing with a footstep being heard and catches Glaive off guard. Yeah, all important pick there, four on four. Blame F is so low. If they can get a nade in there, that'd be fantastic, but they've only got a Molotov on Jonji. Backed up here, Farley Exorp can chime in on Benley and it could be Astralis to bring back the man advantage. EG playing from the back foot, and they are desperate to get a kill here. And that's the support, right? EG want to put a lot of emphasis on trading out Blame F. At least the Orpah of Farley giving them an opportunity, and Jonji's getting spammed down. Blame F eventually going to fall, but Jonji's on 40 HP. Smokes at the rear to try to charge in, but again, they're going to the heaviest stacked site. Config and Zip ready and raring to receive. They'll even charge forward and deal with John G's. That's info to be gained as the utility gets thrown out. EG have got to commit here. Astralis are taking so much map control back towards that short position in later portions of the round, and now even out towards B, there's two of them. Big sprays, captures information on both to kill onto one. DJ just tapped up easy. Heads will roll in Monster. This is pretty at the four on four as the minute ticks by. And the bomb makes its way into the B commit. Oh, a lovely shot coming through from Ponalone. EG now set themselves up for the BXE, and it comes down to Glaven only. One man standing, Farlig at least makes it a three on three, takes some of that pressure off and starts to rotate alongside Config. Glaive is seen, and DJ just can't get the kill. The IGL of the CT side gets another great frag back to the three on two now for Astralis. AWP running, the AK engages for Viz, a two on two now, even standing, EG continuing those trades, passing that bomb back. 
And Glaive can't see them. Here's that tap. Knows that it must be down at default. Knows that this M4 is not powerful enough to wallbang. Look at the edge of the smoke. Hope that it can catch him as he clears. AWP spotted and still not dead. Finally is now. And Viz should be known. Swings out, sees them both and just can't connect his shots. Once again, problems for Evil Geniuses. It's nine for Astralis. Those over rotations. That was a fantastic off pick to come through from Pone alone. They're just not quick enough to react. They're not moving into that B site fast enough. And then, of course, even your lurk of Benly that's playing up towards the A site, he gets caught off by the Orpa and just pressure building from that point onwards. So calm. Evil Genius is not even seeing a CT player before they lose that first fight. They'll try to go relatively quick into the B site, and Zipbex just going to line them up and knock him down easy. Two left. And surely not much left in this round for EG. I say that and this does give a good, uh, good old college try. But now Ponalo, bottom of the board for his team. He's left to clutch it all. He at least gets to pick the drop. Smoke will go down the same. Bomb on his back. Could get the plot from here. Tap one, leaning in. Nade to do the damage. They're trying to set up the boost. And he might make the big brain plays. They're both watching it though. Oh, they suspect it. They have an inkling, they have an idea, and they have the information to know for it. Blame with the kill. Whether that was a bait and switch, they failed the boost itself. I'll exhort will watch Blame F here and connect her once again. Got Viz low, John G and Benley high, but no worries that Blame could deal with it. I say that, and Viz gets that opening kill. Farleg forced to try and back in. Now, one of the rare cases in which Blame F struggles in towards Connector, that's been his domain, but Farleg with the AWP sees even more and just trying to hold. He's looking for that triple, sees Viz's shoulder, he does get baited into it though, looks towards the Orp v Orp battle, and Pone alone wins that one. Config gets tagged, the lone player back in the A side, but EG too slow to go for the commitment. A second player has now joined it on the CT defensive, but Config will still fall. So it will still be left to Glaive and Zipex creeping in from the backstab. DJ watching is going to account for this. Needs that headshot and that's what he'll get. Uh, great discipline there for EG. Just slowing it down and they've got the clock to work with. They've got about a minute on the timer. So just try and see if you can exploit some of the mistakes. Force those over rotations. Hoping that they're overly aggressive so we can punish them. They're not backed up behind Pillar at its closest. Check the cubby corners. Check water. It's DJ. The perfect headshot angle will finally break the streak and get EG their second round, but it's been... Got to be careful that he doesn't have a teammate with him and exposing himself too wide. Spots out the Orpa and can now relay that information into his con player. Still got a tag on Pone alone as well. Farley even tempting fate with his own press forward. He sees Benley with U2 in hand. Wasn't expecting Viz, but Viz couldn't capitalize and get that kill. Zipex, meanwhile, gets DJ. Yeah, even Farley can get towards the edge of Con, get up towards T-Con and just wrap him behind them. And then you sandwich from this point onwards. You have to commit up towards the A-site. Players all around. They deal with Config. That's at least a start. Zipex there with a quick response and a double up in the end. A bit of commonality that they feed themselves to him one by one and line themselves up for the same angle. But not willing to do so. Neither can they find an angle on the boost. Yeah, Zip getting caught in the timing, but there's so many players out here towards B. EG going to have another pump at it. Config with a kill on DJ, continuous raise from Glaive. Viz tag Config charges forward. Benley can get that trade. But everything else has fallen around, including him now for Blame F's part. John G on 18 points of health. A Galil in hand, a backstab that's now completed itself. And Blame F looking for the closing frag, as is everybody else for Astralis. To close out the half of the high note, 13 2 seems like the likely score, and that will be the final scoreline of the first half. Decimation from Astralis. Again, experience seems to trump them all here. Evil Geniuses. Pistol to save their skins here in the best of one. And DJ to start things off on a positive element. Zipex dropped the first and foremost. But Viz turned around in trade. John G, DJ going back and forth with the T-side. DJ gets a triple, in fact. And Farlig is left alone for the pistol clutch. Tap that bomb once. Bates in Pone alone. But Pone alone lands the perfect kill and gets an all-important pistol for EG. No bomb plants either, so not a lot of cash flowing in for them. EG... They will receive them. Viz could get caught off guard if they're not careful. They do get away with one decent kill on the T side, two decent kills in fact. But Viz with the triple locks them all down. Zipex makes it an expensive round. Now actually, John G burns uh, uh, the last player or his, his own teammate alive. A decent timing on the boost because if Astralis would have been further up towards that boost position, they probably could have trade fragged and dropped the AWP. John G even coming through for connector. There's no lurk. They don't even know that he's here. Yeah, Zipex had absolutely no inkling. No possibility that they could have been a player in connector. Didn't know about Pernal in the least. A quick swing from Glaive. There's that frag, four on three. He can turn it to evens, but DJ has the jump on him. Don't think I'm playing F. 
Can't remember whether they want to work in from Zonji in the midst of this smoke. Will catch config off in the end, so there's no way back in for Blame F. He's been stellar, so if there's one player in this server I trust in a 1v4, it would be him. But now with that kill, with 16 seconds on the clock, a chance of getting over to that bomb quickly, going out towards B. Wasn't sure if there was a heaven rotate though, so just opts to bring that AK into the next round. Blame F, they don't know about this walk forward and the AK for the entry. Close angle for Fenley and Viz goes for the info play, trying to get down towards Monster, looks towards that position, but get cut off at the short position instead. Another reboost, this could be interesting. They see Blame F and now they can disrupt that whole play. And they're still going to go passive on the B defensive, so the utility, if it's thrown correctly, could still send them back. They could get a bomb plant at the very least out of this round for Astralis. Benly trying to hide away at water, peeking in ahead of the smokes. Johnson will get dealt with Blame F detected, but still not dead. Players charging forward, has Config getting the next kill, and DJ being left alone at seven points of health. Pone alone going to fall out of there and save the weapon. No way back in for Evil Geniuses. Pone just nowhere to look, nowhere to go. Tech 9 and M4 leaning forward. He does catch that shoulder shot and does nice. get Zipex. Okay, there you go, Pone. A little bit of impressiveness. 11 kills on the board for him, matching some of his top fraggers. Minute on the clock, and there's Blame with the shot onto Benley. So a four on four, and Viz is still held out here towards Toxic. Blave working in, flashes. They'll keep one player held at bay, and they'll make some noise towards it. And still, Viz gets away with a decent kill. Farlick with the orb shot, and now's John G's chance to strike. He's waiting with that bomb, just getting picked up. Farlick has no idea. Nades up, and it's not even going down. It was default back behind the pillar. John G can strike, bring it back to the advantage, but not for long. Farlick back involved, can't get the flick on DJ. So it's also blame F for his 27th and 26th and 27th kill in this map up. Watch out the site. Prepare to receive the two CTs inbound. Smokes go down. And they start the walk forward. Diffuse kit on both. Tapped once. Pone alone watching with the orb. It'll be blind sprays back and forth from both sides. They'll stick the whole thing. Pone alone making noise. Oh my god, blame F. You can't blame anyone for EG for making that mistake. That was a ridiculous play. What do you say? But pure perfection from him. The bright star on Astralis. And now charging their way forward here. Looking to try and end it. Number 16 there for Blame F, another transfer. 29 now, looking for number 30. Blay giving his best shots, trying to get through the smoke against Donji. Tapping, bursting, getting that kill in the end. Leaving it all to two members of the EG side to most likely fall down and get picked apart by the AWP and such. Pone alone, way too long range to use this Mag 7. And it will be Astralis to close this one out in style at 60 to 6 above Evil Geniuses. A good effort right here for Evil Geniuses. I thought we saw some glimpses, Jay, over the course of this entire map. But Astralis were the outclassing element. And uh, my goodness, Flame F was just an absolute tank. Pone alone, just trying to make anything happen, but it's not going to be. And there's the win coming through from Astralis, not really tested a massive amount, but a win's a win, and for Astralis, that's important. Look, EG can be happy with the little comeback they had at the turn of the half, but ultimately 16-6 is not a great result, and with the impressive moments shown up there by certain players on the Astralis one, again...